Hello again, uh, this is Al, and uh, this is uh, not in the C++ area. Uh, this, I guess, will fall under the virtual dub section, uh, where uh, I've found occasion uh, to uh, use the special technique that I've mentioned several times before uh, for cutting an API file on the left, which, as I explained before, in theory is uh, impossible to do, at least without a, a re-encoding. Um, in fact, a re-encoding is required, um, but uh, you can do that with uh, almost no loss. Uh, the, the reason for the re-encoding <coughs> um, is that the technique involves uh, re-encoding part of a video and then doing some cutting and chopping and gluing things together and uh, in order to do that with virtual dub the, both the audio and the vid video streams have to match identically I mean uh, it's very very <laughs> virtual dub is very um, picky about things matching up exactly uh, an example is um, with audio formats, I, I can't remember, but it shows one, one stream has uh, some number set to uh, 1.6666667, right? And then the other stream is uh, that or something, right? And uh, that's a mismatch, so it won't allow it, it won't allow. It. So it's a, it has to be completely 100% identical audio and video on both sides to do a cut and then a, and a joining. Now the place where I want, I, now I, before I knew this technique, I had this video, of, um, a very famous video of a very famous pianist. Uh, happens to be from Canada, oh, Glenn Gould, uh, who in 1981 re-recorded the work which started off his uh, career, his uh, his famous career. He, he was an unknown before he made uh, a recording of what's called the Goldberg Variations by Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, which would have he plays it on the piano, Bach would have played it on a harpsichord. He didn't have pianos in those days, uh, and it's a it's a, an incredible recording. Problem is now I have a link to that too <coughs> on my music channel. The the full record, the, the thing was recorded on a TV show, I think a British show. Um, and I have a link to that. Somebody uploaded that in its entirety on YouTube. And I don't know how they were able to upload it. I think I had to upload it and well, things may have changed, you never know. Uh, but of course, it's available for, for download. Right? Yeah, in the, the the universe has it in here. See, uh, yeah, well, at least nine people have it in full, at least at uh, some others. I don't because I modified it. I try what I try to do is get rid of the <coughs> the head section, which has a, a little bit of a, a really kind of a stupid interview. See, this is an hour long. The actual piece is about fifty minutes long, so there's ten minutes worth of um, discussion and uh, you know in the studio and the part that I don't. I just want the, the musical part. I don't want that discussion part. And it turns out you can't get rid of that uh, 
the tail end of that discussion because it runs into the the next frame keyframe is past the beginning of the of the piece so you have to include uh, the end of that discussion if you want to get at the beginning of the piece and I didn't like that what I did instead and I can just play it as uh, well muted but you'll, you'll see just just visually what I did is I took I, I, I included the musical part I mean I included the, the last frame because I can't avoid it right then I extracted the audio and I tried muting out muting out this last bit of the discussion so this part you wouldn't hear any anyway. even if I had this off and even if you could hear it this would be muted okay and then I and I made that as a separate um, part um, which I shouldn't have but I can't I, I can't go back I don't have it, the original anymore what I should have done is that re I didn't want to damage the audio by re-encoding the whole thing, right? So what I did was I took just that little head, the first part, this part, which includes some of the music, and um, muted out the talking, and then left a the, the little bit of the music at the end, which should have seamlessly glued in with the rest, but it doesn't. What I'm going to do... Uh, is um, let's see now. What I can, I, one thing I can do with this recorder, uh, I don't know if I can stick that together. Is um, I can have it take the sound only from the computer, and you won't hear my voice. And I just want to do that for a second. I'm going to take the audio out of this. And I want to play just the beginning part of that audio. Oh, what am I? Make, that, make this a little bit faster. So uh, what I'll do is I'll stop this video and I'm going to start another one, which will just be uh, just an audio. Well, you'll you'll see and you'll hear this clip, but you won't hear me. Yeah. I'm going to say wait a second, but for you it's it's going to be nothing. So, um, <coughs> as you heard there, excuse me, <coughs> the, um, it, it's, it's not the, the fuzzy bits. Uh, it doesn't actually have that fuzz. I have just had it, uh, the volume up too high. If you listened to that, you would have heard, uh, at one point it goes, Wee! It kind of sounds like you hear a, a little uh, a chirp or something. That, I don't know what it what it is, but it's it's a it's a it's not continuous. And I know it's nothing really. It's just being picky. But it, it provides me with an opportunity to show you how to do that correctly. I did what I could, having to include that entire sequence. Now I know how to do that. I can cut out the uh, silent part, that initial part that was silent, where they would have been talking. I can cut that out, and I can start it just as it begins to pan in, uh, all continuous, and it won't have that little sound in it. So 
let's call this um, 6a, part a, introduction, and um, I'll have to set up, uh, I don't have to really set anything up, but um, I'll have to outline, I'll try to outline in a step-by-step -step manner uh, how to do that left cut in an arbitrary, at an arbitrary position. Okay, so I'll upload this. That would be this plus what I'm doing, saying now, and um, and you'll have to wait for the next part. And uh, while you're doing that, uh, you could um, you can listen to the entire performance, as I just um, showed you. It's online in my music channel in under the external links section. Uh, that's uh, YouTube slash James B Motion. <laughs> Don't ask about the James part. Uh, there's a reason for that, but <laughs> it's too long to go into. Uh, show you. Well, I'll include the link in, uh, uh, as the first link in the description of this video. Okay, see you.